There are moments in life that mark your existence with such beautiful fury, you never forget them. And for us, you and I in this community, the Animal Crossing updates are those moments. Welcome back to another exciting video where we dive deep into the latest and greatest from ACNH, even if they're maybe not being all that great lately. Maybe there's more beneath the surface. We are going to dig so deep into 1.10 and see what it has to offer. Suck out the goodness. Find the positivity. Erupt the awesomeness straight out of this game. So make sure to smash that like button. Let me know if you've downloaded the update in the comments down below. Who's the first to get it? My copy was a little slow. I feel like my game, like, Tom Nook was like, eh, do we even need to update this? All of a sudden, Tom Nook has a grandpa voice. Cut, cut. Animal Crossing 1.10, and since they wouldn't give us 2.0, uh, I went ahead and got Vaccine 2.0. No side effects thus far. I've had my shot for seven hours now. I encourage you guys, if you have the opportunity to get it, it's super easy, it's super painless, it's free, and it's not just about protecting yourself, but it's about having compassion and trying to protect everybody. I think it's a really good thing to do. Uh, I'm hoping that I can just kind of sleep it off tonight and be A-OK, -okay. and that is a good thing because we've got a big week with AC, Pokemon Snap, and more. What has Isabel brought us this time? Let's find out. Before you get any further, I am Future Zack from a different dimension, New Galaxy. Intergalactic Planetary is where I came from to tell you about the patch notes so you know that this video is going to be a little bit cooler than you're expecting. Actually a lot cooler because huzzah! The May Day, International Museum Day, and Wedding Season seasonal events have been updated, which means we're going on a tour with Rover. May's time 2.0, dropping in. You, you know it's going to be fun. It's now possible to wake up from a dream by using the minus button. And they've added limited time seasonal items, so we're going to get them. But I have bad news for you. Come closer. Come here, come here, come here, come here. They didn't give us a gift. They hate us. It's confirmed. No gift this update. What the heck? But even though there's no gift, they did fix an issue where the player could build a fence on the pier when standing on top of a custom design placed on the ground and other adjustments and corrections. But the best news is it ain't over. At least they're going to continue to update the seasons and the events. Animal Crossing New Horizons will continue to receive updates in the future. Stay tuned for further details. Now, future future Zach, who knows about the next update, uh, he's not available right now. He's taking a nap. Sorry, I tried. All right. Peter Piper picked a pepper and pickled it. For his pretty mama. No note from our friends, right? That's my pom pom porn hat. I have nothing to say like welcome to... S nothing to say. Woohoo! It's update. Interesting. All right. All right then. All right then. Well, thanks for nada, my buds. Uh, we got a couple main things we need to check here, which is going to be... Seasonal items, and then the events. Obviously, this update is centered around having the events be updated from last year. So we're talking about May Day. We're talking about International Museum Day. We're talking about uh, wedding season. Now, I've heard that wedding season is locked, but that May Day isn't. So that we are going to uh, find that together and investigate if that's the case. Now, there are some really bomb items in this game that are going to make my water park really freaking great. All right. The seasonal items are here. My carp banner, waving like a fish, sucking on that big straight pole with wheels and all sorts of ish. I love it. Order that nonsense. Love that so much. Newsprint helmet. This one's pretty cool. I like to play pirates. Can you believe that my, my, my parents were great? Awesome childhood. Love you, mom and dad. Unlike the mom and dad in this game that just sent me like an old mug. Like they, they were great. My dad and mom put together a pirate party for my little brother where we, like, had sword fights with breadsticks. They built two boats, and we threw, like, those old balls you'd find in, like, ball pits to see who could, like, attack the other ship. And whatever team had the most balls in their boat lost. Oh, it was really fun. We all made hats like this. Order that. Did I already order it? I don't know, but I'm ordering it again. The prom sash, the prom wall, and the prom flooring are like, yo, it's almost time to get jiggy with it. But I love... Oh, dude, I'm ordering another cart banner. I'm actually ordering a third cart banner. Thank you very much. I'm very excited for these cart banners. I think they're going to look so good. I know that it's not Brewster. I understand that it's not Katrina. I get that it's not QOL, quality of life, making, batch crafting, and better dialogue. But look, life is what it is. The updates are what they are. I definitely want better 
Even Chelsea knows. She's like, I'm trying to get the dust off this game, but it's hard. And we're going to have to talk about what we need to do to help Nintendo know we need a 2.0. But right now, I'm just loving life and living for the goodies that we do have. Let's put our cart banners in now. Ooh la la. I love big items. I love big items so much. Ooh, look at my newsprint hat. This is going to define my water park. Did they make this just for me? I think they did. It's so big. Oh my gosh. Those fish are sucking wind. I love it. Freaking love this. I'm not sure I feel about the little like pegs in the ground that makes it quite a large item but it's freaking sweet it's such a nice item it's got so many moving parts it looks so good by the confetti oh i cannot wait i'm gonna have dueling ones check this out we're gonna go dueling cart banners da 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 this is such a great entryway you guys could use these for like someone's house in their front yard you could use it for an entryway to a park i think this just looks really really nice i think it's really really fun that's a good look Dude, this is going to be the gates to my water park. I'm going to put a nice archway between the, the fish banners. I know it's just a children's day item, but it's a freaking great item. Okay, and like I told you at the top, or like I was planning on telling you in the future, but then I teleported to the past to tell you, you know, I do have a future self that likes to help out these videos. There is Mayday in this update, so we get to do something fun and new together. Woo, woo, keep that positivity going. Because positivity grows the more that we share. And it sounds so silly and superficial, but I really believe in it. I've founded this entire channel. My entire time on YouTube is about spreading smiles. I remember being like 10 years old and being like, Mom, I want to start a smiles project where we, we do stuff to make kids smile. I want to have like backpacks and we'd load them up with like books and toys and food and, and distribute them to less fortunate kids and just make them smile. And the, the logo on the back would be a big embroidered smiley face. And like, you know, that to me, that's like, that's what my YouTube career has become. Hopefully I am imparting and bestowing an embroidered smile on your face. I won't actually embroider your face. That sounds dangerous and very painful, but like in theory, right? It's just, it's like an analogy. Mayday is ready to go. You'll just need a Mayday ticket. I need to go to the Mayday counter or the airport counter to get my Mayday tour. Thank you, Tom Nook. A little bit of dialogue. Um, Mayday is running April 29th until I believe May 7th. So you've got quite a window, a whole week to go explore and check it out. Now, as far as I'm aware, if you have not done May Day last year, you will experience last year's maze. But if you have done May Day last year, this is the way it was described to me, you will then get a new maze. Now the real deal is, will there be a new reward? Because last year, Rover was there to say hi, and he gave us his Rover's briefcase, which is a fun little, you know, homage to a character that really doesn't factor into the game all that much. I'm hoping that he gives us something special and new today. I'm hoping that he has something really fun. So we're going to see how we do with this, and we're going to get all the paperwork, and we're going to use that Mayday ticket. Now, you've only got, I think, one shot, one opportunity. Do you capture it? Let it slip away. All right. We'll have to find out when we land. For this tour, you have to go empty-handed. Okay. He's holding on to all my belongings. This is scary. This dodo, I don't know. I feel like he's going to peck through my stuff. I, I, Come on, dude. I don't want you to take my maracas. I don't want you to take my... Well, thank goodness I'm wearing my Kirokrabi boots because I feel like freaking Orville over here would be like, yo, I'm stealing those boots. He'd get his beak stuck in the boot. All right, we're ready. Let's go. I think that this idea, the Mayday ticket, is one of the best ideas that ACNH has. And I think it's a sad bummer that they don't have more more flights, like to more fanciful lands. And I know, like, we, they could do more. And my hope is, like, if there is a big paid DLC or a big expansion, like, they will fly us to, like, a multiplayer island or we'll fly us somewhere else fun. I know the dock is something we talk about a lot, but I love these tickets where we get to go to a special place. Mayday, if you don't know, is a big maze. It's like an escape room in AC. It's almost like a Crunchy Island race in the game that they made. So it's very, very cool. Not as complex, but it's very cool. All right. We've stowed your gear. You'll start with this mission with empty wings or hands. We big shot bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick, but you left to zero on whatever you can find to reach your target. If you get stuck or lost, help rescue services, and we can restart the maze. If you ever feel like you need a hint, intel, you have a hint. Good luck. All right, we ain't need no hints, but here we are picking up the shovel. Thank you for the shovel. All right, so which way, USA, where does one go? The maze has multiple levels with fruit hanging and chilling up on the high up tree so that the ground yetis can't get to it, all right? Only the fanciful yetis from up above. All right, so we got this orange here. And the orange is going to let us... Um, hello? Okay, 
kick it over so we can just run like a normal person. There we go. We're gonna eat the orange. I also have an azalea. Iggy azalea, Iggy azalea. I'm very, very excited. I just love updates. Even if they're tiny, you know, you can't rain on my parade, Nintendo. You can't do it to me. Are we gonna craft? We get, there's my boy. Rover, Rover. I see you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. All right. We got a rock and a hard place. Um, let's eat some fruit. I want to eat your fruits. New fruits would be one of the best things that could happen to AC. Just as like a fun little, a fun little difference, a fun little niftiness. You know, we don't have a, we, we have a lot of like items, but I don't think they've done a lot of just like fun things to really change up your island. They've allowed, they've helped us change up our island via our designs, but you know, Luna's in your bed, which is a little strange. Pascal's in the water, which I do appreciate. Like that was, the, to me that, Pascal was like the last big thing that really was like, wow, they're modifying our islands and we all hope for the roost to be there. And I, I posted a video why I think it could be its own building, which would be really sweet. Um, but I'd love new fruit, bananas. I know some people talk about like super fruits and stuff. I think I still have, um, I think I still have, this is my second orange or, oh no, that's one orange, okay. Good, good, good. I'm so excited to see what Rover has. And I still think this idea is just brilliant. I still think the idea that Nintendo's over here making a maze for us to play is so cool. And, you know, if you remember the very early time of AC, you had, like, little quests, right? You were trying to get Nook's Cranny. Shout out to the homeboys. You're trying to get um, KK Slider to appear. You're trying to get all these things to happen, and then they kind of go away from it. It becomes all about you and what you can generate. Ooh, it seems like I might have to craft something. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't yet have a ladder. I can't shovel my way around. Hmm, where else could I go? Down here? Have I already... I've, I've been to all these places. Okay. Um, let's see. What if I... Is this the exit to the map? Is this where I came from? This is where I came from. Can we... We can get this though, right? Yeah, all right. So we can hop to this side. Looks like there's a DIY. What if they had a new DIY here? I know it's incredibly unlikely, but like I'm gonna be super excited for three, two, one. It's a ladder, okay. No. In, ca in, ca in case you never played the game. I already know this thing, DIY. All right, um, so yeah, I can't get that. Hmm. I can't just craft it, right? There's there's no way we can just... Is there a workbench somewhere? Let's see. Oh, they're gonna make this really difficult. You can't hop over this because there's a... There's a guy there. There's also some nifty tickets. Um, nothing over this way. All right, so let's go back into the maze. Um, there's gotta be a place to craft, right? A workbench of sorts or something or other. A nifty place for me and Rover to hang out. Can I put something down in the hole? Plant a little basket of tropical goodies? Um, why can I not ladder it up? Craft, man! I'm grabbing the wood. Oh, there's the crafting bench. Okay, so it's gotta be accessible on the other side. Turns out, my friends, that it's pretty easy to get yourself stuck in this one, which I actually think is a good thing. I actually think it's a positive feature, but if you get too obsessed with the right side of the maze, um, you will run out of fruit that you need in order to progress towards the left side of the maze in order to grab, uh, to get access to the crafting bench and be able to craft the ladder. So uh, we need to make sure that we are not paying too much attention to the right and that we focus a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right. And uh, yes, it's important to grab the wood, but as you can see, I need to get to that rock and that tree over there. So I need to make sure that I do not mess with it too much. Now, I'm gonna go back over here and just make sure that I unlock it so we don't run into any troubles um, because you can get in a difficult space quite quickly. Uh, so from here, you know, this is your DIY for the ladder and it seems like there's gonna actually be another tool of some sort up there. Um, I love that the, the maze is a little more challenging. Like you could, I think you could mess yourself up last year but not this early, which, you know, maybe I'm just tired. Maybe my vaccine side effects are kicking in. I don't think so. I, I haven't felt anything. My arm's getting a little sore, but that's not contributing to me being in a conundrum here. So we are going to uh, make sure that everything is good. And actually, we got the crafting bench. So uh, we are now here. The crafting bench. We can access uh, the ladder, which I'm very short on wood. So I got to go get the wood now, um, even though I do not have 
a whole lot of access to much else, but by getting rid of that tree, you really are going to give yourself a lot more goodies. So now I have a lot of fruit um, that can be used to access a lot more fruit. There's dark wood over there, but it seems like uh, the right side of the map is actually beneficial in a lot of ways um, for this wood collection. You just want to make sure that you have utilized your oranges in order to ensure that you have access and opened up that uh, crafting bench because without it, you're absolute toast. So here we get another yummy orange. Pick up a tree. I can plant an entire freaking forest. We got our wood and then we're gonna get some more this way. Um, I have to eat my orange. Seems like this is gonna give me access to one more. I'm at two, two, three. Um, so we'll go through here. Pick up another light wood. Pew, 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 pew. Um, and then we can get even more. So we'll have this. And we'll have this. We have one more orange. Now, I'm not really sure what is the most important thing. That is going to be to progress. That right there, as you can see, is a way to use the ladder to advance even further and closer to Rover. Um, we're instead going to navigate this side of the map. And I believe that's how we're going to grab more hard wood. I think that's all we need at this point. Let's double check. Yada yada yada. We are at, yes, we just need two. So you really do need to weave your way back and forth and not get too obsessed with one side. It's pretty easy to resident services yourself in this one um, and pay, have to pay that 100 mile toll to get out of here. Now, I have no ability to cut down these trees. So from here on out, it is all brand new. I've rectified my mistakes and now we can progress with Peachy Keen power. I'm going to craft this beautiful ladder. It looks like there's another tool over here, which I'm not sure what we would be grabbing. What do you, what do you guys think is over here? I'm going to put away the shovel for now and see what the heck is accessible up on Rover's Hilltop. It is a, a worn axe. Okay, cool. So the worn axe is going to probably be used... See, those trees are not going to be helpful. It needs to be used, actually, very carefully, honest to goodness. Because if we were to use it on that upper tree, then you would not be able to get through the second tree. I'm guessing it breaks after one chop down. So now we're going to have to head back to the right side of the map. This really is more like an escape room. I'm putting on my freaking Einstein cap to try and clever my way through this conundrum. Um, now we should be able to go here. And you kind of have to have your spatial awareness to see that there is... Yep, pop goes the axe, so it had to be that way. Otherwise, again, you would completely lock yourself out. So it's got to be in this very specific order. And we are going to... Climb up, up, oh, to the tower! Above! Me and the Statue of Liberty having pizza on a Wednesday afternoon. You, me, and a whole lot of dads. Fishing for some carp. Convert them to banners. Mind your manners, it's just me and some dads in the park. It's a song I wrote for you guys while I was downloading the update. It took a few minutes. It took like five minutes. I was like, dude, the smallest update has this issue? Why, why is this issue here? Um, so it's all about fruit management. It's all about managing and rationing your resources, making sure that you don't get trapped without anything to eat, okay? Now we have our trusty shovel to crash, bash, and smash. Throws ultimate our way through here. Beautimus. Love it. Love to kick in these patches. Don't. It's crazy that you can just kick in a little dirt to fill in this giant gaping chasm left in the Mother Earth. But, you know, we got to... It'll, it'll be okay. Um, put that away. Grab your ladder. And we're getting close to my friend Rover. Now there's another interesting set of two fruits up there, which is unique. Um, we'll ladder down. And it feels like it's... That was like excess fruit or something. Um, because we have the fruit to chop down. I'll eat both just to be sure. But it seems like it's just one tree away. So this is, it's more about the order of things. This is like an order of operations. Oh my gosh, it's taking me back to like geometry class or something. This is like, it's like math all over again. Like order of operations, solve the proof. What are you gonna do? And make sure you go in the proper path so that you're able to grab that Rover. Now, we need Rover to deliver us a reward to make this all worth it. I really hope he doesn't just bring Briefcase again. You ever heard the song Boyfriend Number 2? I definitely don't want Briefcase Number 2. No siree, Bob. All right. We made it. We made it. There's some other tickets to grab and things to get if you want. But I gotta talk to my fine feline friend for the second time ever. 
Rover says, hey, you, wow, what are the chances we meet like this again? Congrats on making it to the end, by the way. It's been a while, hasn't it? How have you been doing? Well, I've been good, waiting for 2.0, didn't deliver, gave me a boring update, also didn't send me a gift for downloading the update, which is unconventional, but okay. It Has it been tough? It's been a tough year, honestly, Rover. The last 12 months have been difficult for a lot of people, a lot of my friends, a lot of you guys out there, but you know, right now I'm doing great, vaccinated, happy, healthy, ready to go. I'm really glad to hear that. It makes me think we'll both be, still be smiling next time. Oh, next time, next year. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, I think I'm going to write you a letter later. It's always fun to keep in touch. Ooh, a letter? Is the letter going to be something? I'm used to traveling by train, riding the rails. Ooh, train reference. Were you able to finish the maze? Yes, I did. If you want to restart, you can do so by rescue servicing. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let's just see if there's anything. There's some more fruit, I guess, over here. And some more ticky tickets, maybe? Thanks, Rover. He's gonna write me a letter, but I'm not I'm not quite sure if he's going to send me a a giftorama or not. I can't quite tell. What am I picking up here? What are these things again? These are bell vouchers, yeah, that's what I figured. Um, I'm not sure why you would need to go over here. More fruit? Interesting. On the beach? Anything we just gotta explore. We gotta make sure that there's nothing else crazy in this island. Oh, I can't even get- oh, I do have three. I do have three so I get the rest of my bell vouchers. This is gonna completely max out our fruit, max out our, uh, our island speciality, and we gotta get back to base to see what Rover has to deliver. I don't want to shiver from Rover not gifting me something fun, all right? So we gotta- we gotta- we gotta hope that he does have something waiting for us. So, what is it gonna be? Is that- Five bell vouchers, six, nine bell vouchers, it seems like. Okay. Um, so those bell vouchers can be converted in for bells. And that is what we have here. Now this is a nice way to get to the exit of the map. It seems like Rover is done. So yeah, we're going to head back to base. I like that maze much better than last year. They're both fun, but this one required, I think, a little bit more brain power, a little bit more thinking, a little bit more expertise. And that's why it is indeed the year two map. Uh, year two map maze, maze map. But we're gonna head back with Wilbur and check if Rover's letter delivers us something fun. And we're back. It's important to let you know that um, once you leave the Mayday Island, you cannot return. So you're gonna redo the maze, you can resident services it up and try it again or try for a faster time. But once you leave, it is over and you will not be returning. So let's head to our mailbox to see if Rover kept his promise and if he's written us a letter. Now, I'm not sure if we need to time travel a day forward or if it's just going to be here, but let's find the heck out. Mailbox time. Nothing from Rover. All right, I'm gonna give it a day and see if he writes. Alrighty, one day forward. Our mailbox is blinking. Rover is here and he's got me thinking. Tears heck, did you enjoy the maze? I sure did. And what better way to end it than with our fateful meetup? In that spirit, I'd like to mark our moment with a memento, a photo of me and my travels. Take care out there. It's a photo. For all y'all that collect those photos of your villagers, I'm sure you'll be very happy. For me, who wanted a giant statue of Rover to place next to my UFO, I'm a bit bummed. But it's nice that you do get something different, um, as opposed to the same briefcase or nothing at all. I've got Rover's photo. Check it out. You can't even see it. I'll flip it for you. All right. There's Rover's photo. My guy, your guy, Rover is the guy. There he is looking lovely. That's what you get. Now, I've heard if you did it, you know, didn't do it, you get... The briefcase, um, you have to be, it's got to be your second year to get the photo. So at least the photo is like, in a way, it's an item that is paying tribute to us playing for a longer period of time. But at the same time, I wish it was an item. Um, but I do know a lot of you like, you like your photos. Now you got the Isabel ones, the Nook ones from the Nook points on the uh, Nintendo Switch online app. Now you got Rover building a whole collection. You can put them all up on your mantle and have the greatest grandma's house I've ever seen. Now, continuing on our quest for amazing Animal Crossing glory, we have now moved the date to May 18th, which you might recognize as International Museum Day. So through the pool, splish splash, Blathers doesn't ever take a bath. I've never seen a restroom inside of this place. I've also never seen a cafe. Tears. But my boy, is it time for International Museum Day? Is it locked? Is it here? What do you got going on? Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning. Welcome Museum, May 18th. Yes? Okay, it's a stamp rally. Give me a freaking brief, uh, gosh. I don't need any, any explanation. This is the simplest, silliest holiday ever. You have to go get the stamp stations, but the good news is, um, we now have an art 
gallery memento, okay? We've already acquired the mementos for fossils and for plants and for bugs. Or am, mam, marines, I don't know, thing, things. This is the holiday. If you weren't here last year, stamp rally means this. Find the stamp station, touch it. You don't even have to, you don't even have to have anything in your art gallery. You just literally have to approach it. You could be like, I am the most basic art gallerista I ever did saw, I ever did see candelabras on the wall for the ghost in me. But as long as you reach the stamp rally, you're going to get it. Now, last year we got these nice plaques that commemorated like a big old fossil on a piece of wood, a big old fish head on a piece of wood, and a big old bug face on a piece of wood. So I'm guessing we're going to get now the plaque of the door of this, this artist's face right here. So we now have that. I've collected all the art stamps, and you can do this every day if you want for the week of International Museum Day, but the prize will be the same. That's, that's the event. And that's the new part. That's the art gallery. And I'm guessing that's going to be our plaque right up there. That thing above the doorway that you see, that's probably what it's going to be. Blathers, hi. Hoo-hoo. I completed my stamps. Oh, dear. Yes. Okay. Mark it with a completion stamp. Thanks, Blathers. I, I do like... It's like a cute idea. Um, but, you know, he... He's kind of a silly little owl man. He's probably sad that Blathers isn't here. I mean, that Brewster isn't here. He's probably sad that Celeste only comes at night, doesn't get to see his sister. The update's kind of are lackluster. It's a bummer. But I was a little bit hoping that maybe it would have been something new this year, but it seems like it's going to be the plaques once again. And in general, that's going to bring us to our little uh, culmination review of 1.10, which is it is a very, very small update. If you thought the last update was small, but you're pumped up the design slots. Well, this one doesn't really have that feature to kind of tide you over. It is merely updating the events. Now, I do appreciate that they are updating the events. I don't think that's going to work for very long. Like, I am, I am glad that they are adding this. I am glad that they are delivering. I'm glad that they are keeping true to like, hey, two to three years of, of updates, but it's going to need to be more than just some revised events. Like, I think the cart banners are fantastic, as you saw. They're really, really nifty. They're really, really nice. But we're going to need more. And I hope that E3 or around there, I hope they're able to bring us some substantial content to really flesh out this game and evolve it to 2.0. Because 1.10, it feels closer to a 0 than a 10. But I still try to suck out the joy. I still try to find the fun. And the Mayday Maze was great. Yes, Mayday is an old-time event. But I think that the update, the new maze, was fantastic. I'm glad we got a, a new prize, thank goodness. And I really do enjoy that style of gameplay from Animal Crossing New Horizons. So it's hard to be mad when they still do things fun and well. We're going to make videos talking about my theories of what's coming next, when it's going to be, what's going to happen, if it's going to be paid, because it might, and the Amiibo cards and all that jazz. But for now, that is update 1.10. Hit that like button if you had fun with me today. Let me know your favorite part in the comments down below. I love you guys a lot. Always keeping you posted with the best, greatest, fastest Animal Crossing New Horizons news, updates, theories, data mines, and facts that I can bring you. Plus a whole lot of fun. Thanks for supporting me. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. I love you so much. I really, really am glad that we can share smiles together because it's it's kind of my life purpose. So thanks for helping me fulfill that. Without you, I, I couldn't do that. And so you, on an individual level, mean a lot to me. Without each of you, my purpose would mean less and less. But thank you. I love you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. You awesome people. I love you a lot. And until next time, Switch Force out.